So welcome back. We switched fields. The yield here is absolutely horrifying, but it is what it is. The combine is running pretty good. We serviced it yesterday because it was raining and we had nothing better to do. So we hope it runs good all day. So I already finished filling up four trucks. The combine is currently full and we're having trouble closing the lid of the truck. So we're gonna resolve that. Dump and continue. We are actually going pretty fast today. The combine is going really good. The wheat's not so good, but it is what it is. Now I don't know what it is here, but there are some places where you have a lot of wheat, and there are some places where you have almost none. So over here it's pretty good. I'm going about 5.6. I can speed it up, of course. The combine can handle it. But later, over there, as you can see, the wheat is much better. And when you're going, let's say, 6.5 or 7, and you're going through this weak wheat, and you go to the better spots, it's kind of dangerous when you bring in so much mass at one time. You can damage the drum or one of the sieves or something. So I'd rather just keep it at speed for the whole... How do I say it? For the whole line that I'm going at. Just keep it safe. Let's just do it safer. So yesterday nothing in interesting was happening, so that's why I didn't record so much. I was just harvesting. When there are no breakdowns or anything interesting happening like field fires and shit like that. I just don't record. I try to get as much hectares done as I can today. So now Spass is blowing off the combine, we're gonna grease it, we're gonna look around it and we're gonna harvest again. Hopefully I can get some good footage for you. Deep down I hope nothing happens. But I still want some footage. So this is the third truck that I'm filling up now. This one is full. I'm speeding things up because it's gonna rain soon. So I finished this little piece over here and I'm moving over here but it's starting to rain slightly, I don't know if you can see on the windshield there are some water drops. The forecast says that it's not gonna rain but judging by the clouds I think it's gonna rain. We'll have to see, I'm going as fast as I can to get as much weight as we can before it starts raining. I think something's blocking the feeder house, I have to check this out, maybe I'll have to touch the header, we'll see. I can hear the feeder house chain jumping around, it's a bit concerning but I'll finish this line over here and I'll check it out. It started raining a little bit, I'm not concerned at this point because it's just a little bit, but it might get a lot stronger. Well, it started raining. It's not a lot, but it's enough to stop us from harvesting. The straw itself got way too damp and the combine just couldn't take it. I bet the grain also has a lot of moisture, so we're gonna stop and we're gonna wait. This really sucks. It rained enough just to stop us from harvesting. Right now it's not raining. I'm going to check just how damp the straw has gotten. I'm gonna take a moisture sample from the grain. Yeah, it's pretty wet. I can't harvest that. I think there might be dirt in the feeder house, so we'll detach the header to check if there's any. It started raining yesterday, we measured the moisture now, it's about 13.7 so we are ready to go. I'm waiting for her to warm up a little bit, I'll turn on the pressure and I'll try to harvest.
sad view because there's barely any wheat here. The yield is very poor. Over there in the field it's much better, but here I don't know what went wrong. The yield is very, very, very poor.